certainly been a while since I've uh, done one of these. Uh, a lot has been going on in uh, in life, and um, the main reason is I haven't received any boxes. The box I have here, I can't even remember what month it was. I think it might have been May, and I knew that this company was notorious for late shipping when I signed up, but I figured I'd give it a try. I have bought some of their other box items, you know, through eBay and stuff like that in the past of things that I really liked, so I thought I'd give them a try. So without any more delay, Loot Crate, The Wizarding World. I think this is the only box that is officially um, partnered with The Wizarding World. So just plain black box with a snowy owl sticker, so let's get right into it. I don't, I'm not going to try to guess at the theme because, like I said, it's, if it wasn't May, it was months and months ago to the point where I don't remember anything about it. So on the inside of the box, they have owls, Harry's glasses and scar, some stars, and a wand. So there's that, and there's this. So let's see what all we have in here. I guess we can start right here. Stars, glasses, owl, and the wand in socks. So if you ever, if you wanted to wear the inside of this box on your feet, now you can, or at least I can. Um, so again, I don't hate this. This is, these are not bad socks. I will probably end up wearing them at some point for some function that I'm going to, but no. All right, not a bad start. It looks like we have a t-shirt here. So gray t-shirt feels very soft. So that's a good thing. And then that's what it looks like. So Hogwarts Quidditch. So not bad. Nice plain design, nothing on the back. So that's, that's a shirt I can get behind. And it does, it feels like one of those really soft t-shirts. Um, oh, that's a Lootware original. So, okay. So I'm looking forward to, to putting that on. So there we go, not bad. So far they're dressing me well. Let's see what else we got. I don't know quite what this is. It is a big plastic rolled up item. Let's see if I can see what it says. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And it has a, I'll show you more, but it has a, a Hogwarts crest. I wanna to try to open this thing. <clears throat> Some sort of bag. Okay, so it has a handle. Now you can see the, the logo a little bit better. Feels like, yep, here's some Velcro. Let's see why. Whoa. <laughs> and it's pretty big. Let me set this box down so that I can try to open this up. Okay, so there's no way with this cord attached to me, I'm going to be able to show you all of this. So we'll just, I'm just gonna hold it up in front of me and I can't see what you're looking at, but hopefully you are seeing what some of it <laughs> is. Um, so it looks like it's some sort of blanket. I don't know, maybe like a picnic blanket. Um, okay, so we have some items not usually associated with this kind of stuff. We have a robe, we have a time turner, we have a telescope, some scales, books, cauldron, lots and lots of stuff. So, and the Hogwarts logo, of course. So, um, I don't know what this is used for. I'm going to have to, I don't know if they, if this box has cheat cards to tell me what it is. I don't know, but it's a blanket. I would say maybe four foot by five foot, something like that. So not terribly big, um, maybe a picnic for two, but uh, I don't know, interesting. We'll see what more we have. So, and I'm, guess, I'm guessing we don't have a cheat sheet. So then it will remain a mystery, but we'll go with the pin. And then we have this uh, wizarding themed boxes. So let's get the pin out of the way first. Some of the pins they do have been pretty cool. I think I may have bought one, um, but let's just see what we got here. Oh, the Hogwarts crust, Hogwarts pin. 
and I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's pretty cool. It is the Hogwarts crest, and they, they do have the enamel. You can kind of see it. There's a badger and a raven and a snake and a lion. Um, so that's actually a very cool pin. I like the way you can see that deep that detail in there. So um, not bad. Not a bad start for my loot crate pins. And this just has that wizarding uh, daily profit type packaging. Um, it says Dobby Storage Tin on it, so <laughs> I guess guess that's what we're gonna, we're gonna see. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have a cartoon version of Bashful Dobby, and then on the top we have the Hogwarts crest with the same thing, and inside nothing. So. Uh, this is not for me. I don't know, number one, what I would keep in a tin like this. I, I'm not a fan of the stylized cartoon chibi style of, um, of character drawings. So that's, well, I mean, it's, it's a tin. It has Dobby on it. So they delivered what they said they were going to deliver. I, to deliver, I'm just not the target audience for this. So we're going to set that to the side and figure out something to do with it. Maybe it will go in the closet and I can store other closet items in here as a way to organize because my closet bin is about to get a brother because it's getting pretty full. Um, but so, all right, we'll go overall box. I like the pin that may, the pin board is getting very full. So this may make it up there, it may not. I think I may be able to replace some of the older pins I have up there with some of the cooler ones, and this would be a new cooler one. I do like it. Um, so I like the pin. Again, the t-shirt, I like the t-shirt. So that's going to be thrown into my rotation of t-shirts that I wear. The socks, again, I don't really wear this kind of sock, no matter what's on it, that all that often. So it will go into my sock drawer with many other pairs of Harry Potter themed socks that I've gotten in different description boxes of this same type of sock. And eventually I'll need a pair of socks like that and I'll just grab whatever's on top. This may be on top since it's the newest one. Um, and the blanket type deal, I'm not sure. Okay, I just saw a little tag on it as I picked it up. Let me see if that gives me any indication. Made in China, machine wash cold. Doesn't tell me what it is, so. Some sort of small blanket. So, okay. For my first Loot Crate box, shipping delay aside, which is a huge deal, don't get me wrong, but putting that to the side, um, I like this box. A few items that uh, I could see, you know, keeping around as opposed to just burying them in the closet for who knows how long. So yeah, who knows when the next box will get. This box took so long that I reached out to customer support and they told me that the two boxes that I'm owed, this was one, there's also another, would be shipped to me in September. This arrived in late September. So technically they got one of them to me in September, months and months late. The other one I'm still waiting on. I haven't got a ship notification or anything yet. So who knows what that deal was. My original plan when I signed up for Loot Crate, which I think was around Christmas last year, was give it a try for a year, see if I like it, and then decide. Well, the end of the year is fast approaching and I've got one box from them. So I don't know what I'm gonna have to do, but that's another problem for another day. So thank you for watching. Hopefully there'll be more videos coming up soon. I did just get another ship notification, so another box should be on the way, hopefully arrive in a week or so, and we can get that one out um, and go from there. Now, I was looking forward to one box that was supposed to be here by now, but it got delayed, shipping, supply chain, all that jazz. So that one's not supposed to be here till the middle of November, but um, when it gets here, I'll open it and I'll record it and hopefully you'll watch it. So, all right, <laughs> that's enough. It's late at night and I'm going to bed. So, bye.